I feel like I'm really far back. I bet you I am. I also can tell my throat is... I can also tell you that I am speaking in a very deep tone compared to normal. too complicated there are basically just two on your turn you draw a line when your line finishes a box you get a point two rules for a 2d game I'll give it a shot a box, you get to keep going. A third dimension. <clears throat> Hello, Degrox. People were telling me I should buy Fire Emblem Awakening just to try it. Uh, here. Seems like you're just making random shapes. I'm me. I got a game plan. All right, we're gonna do this. All right, this is cool by me. And now I just play into your web, which I'll probably lose that, but I'm just gonna play into it. Dots and boxes where nobody or nobody where nobody finishes anything until the last minute. That's fine. Oh, that's a, that's a oh. How long had that been there? Oops. And now I begin. Long con, baby. Baby. Hmm. I may not have thought that one through. Oops. <laughs> I definitely just lost handily. <laughs> oh well. This is just Yahtzee, I'm guessing, right? Yes, it is. Nope, not even gonna let him speak. I know how to play Yahtzee. Yeah. It's a simple game. Simple game, fun game. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. No, no, no. I didn't want to... Thank you. Being so weird. Okay, now we can roll. Keep that. And let's see if I can roll at four. I actually almost did. Uh, I should. No one else, I, unfortunately I haven't asked any friends if they're about right now if they wanted to play or not, but I'm just kind of playing it, kind of chilling today. I've been asleep almost all day, so. So I just half pick this just to be... I did kind of, I did pick this just to kind of like be chill. Uh, half a dipa, dang. Yeah, I'll take that as my choice. Heck with it. Do I really want to try and roll a three on this? You know, I'd rather re-roll all this and hope I get like a small straight out of it, to be honest. Welcome to Yahtzee, by the way. Of course, they just call it Yacht, but, uh... We're going through it. You cheat, you got the straight. We're just gonna watch this for half a minute. Okay, now we can throw him. <clears throat> uh... Let me roll these. I'm going to hate myself when that's not a three. Yes, I have points. I found a happy medium for the fact that the that nut button is a no-no, apparently, according to Twitch. Ah, and the emote has gone live. Oh, good, I cropped it right. Good. Yes, I have emote now, too. Keep, 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 keep. Perfect, full house. And Ashley with 12 bits, thank you very much. Everybody just show everybody just showing up with some love. He cheated. Oh my. Oh oh my. Oh 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 my stars. <laughs> Regardless if I regardless if I get the yacht, if, I, if regardless if I get the yacht or not, that's still hella sixes. But 
But yes. <clears throat> so yes, the the uh, the replay. Piss off. <laughs> so, <clears throat> though he has put it up there himself, I will say that. Give a big thank you to Nair for the replacement for the nut but for the nut button emote. The hell am I doing? Oh hey. Neat. Uh, I guess that's gonna be my fours. So yes, thank Nara for that. I uh, I did commission him. I did commission him for this bit. But that is the emote. I figured I needed something smug. Uh, I have a full house already. Let me keep the fives and see what happens on this one. I wasn't aware there was even table flipping of any kind. I just want the numbers close to each other. Is that so much to ask? I, I'm not getting, like, I'm barely getting any threes. I'm just gonna go for twos. Oh my god, I got the yacht. I don't believe I actually got the yacht. No, I'm the big cheater. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, kind of going through this, like, I, I won't lie, like, before I did, before I streamed this, like, earlier to, basically how my day has gone, it has been, wake up at 10. Wake up at, how my day has gone today has been waking up at 10, finally getting around to working out at like 12 o'clock, uh, recorded the video, the Think Fast video for this at like 2, uh, <laughs> edited and rendered another episode of Secret of Mana, and then I've been asleep from like 4 until an hour, for until like 6.30. And I was like, oh, I should probably eat. I need to eat and get ready for stream at the same time. So I've been kind of having a very lazy day. Slow, lazy day. So, slow, lazy game. Already have fours, already have fives. I'm going to keep the one and the two, see what happens. You know, I'm just gonna roll and see what I get for two for twos at this point. The number three is an illusion. I'm winning by one point right now. That's dumb. Alright. Hey, threes, do you exist out there? <laughs> Oops. That's how it goes to me this game, though. I always roll large straights on the first roll. Like, I... Man. 
I'm bad. But we'll say, uh, mutuals, if you do have this game, let me know. Okay, let me see, let me see all them threes. This is literally my last, my last toss. I'm just gathering up as many threes as I can, and then we're done after this. Did I actually hit it? I hit 63 on the head. I don't believe it. That's a perfect game of yacht. Why didn't you say that one? Sarah, is it going to make you feel, is it going to make you the temptation even greater if I tell you that this game isn't the normal 60, that it's only 40? I've mastered yacht dice. Oh no. Ricardo is on the globe. Oh no. So, for anybody who doesn't have the game, again, like I said, 40 bucks. It's not 60. But you get Moncala. Moncala is a good game. Dots and Boxes. Good game. Yacht Dice. Yahtzee. Connect Four. Hit and Blow. Which anybody who's not played, it's you try, you actually work to, with the other person to try and guess, to try and guess the, the four colors out of six possible in a sequence they've put down. I've never played Nine Men's Morris, and it's confusing as hell watching. Uh, Hex is we is weird in that all you're trying to do is connect either top left to bottom right or vice versa by placing down one hex tile at a time. Mastermind, there's the equivalent. Uh, checkers, of course. Hare and Hounds is a is real as a versus psychological thing where one player pl controls the hare and the other player controls three hounds and you're trying to box the hare in but if the hare gets past the hounds at any point it's over uh gomuko i don't know i don't know exactly what this is one of these games is but i know better as othello so i don't know if it's gomuko or renegade of course dominoes chinese checkers See me and Chinese checkers. I'm kind of nice. I'm not, but I'm kind of nice. Ludo is sorry. Backgammon. See me and backgammon. I actually am kind of nice. Oh, I didn't even see regular chess here. Hold on. So that means there's technically three chess games in this. There's chess. There's shogi. And mini shogi. Okay. <laughs> Renegade is Othello? Okay. There's Hanafuda, which I have no idea what this is. Even though it's how Nintendo started, no idea what this is. They have Ricci for Ceiling. Because Ceiling is a diehard Ricci player. I like chess. I played Mini Shogi thinking it would be a shorter version of Shogi for the video. I should have played Shogi so I understood it better. But I like Shogi. It's show as the best way I can describe Shogi with playing how I play mini Shogi is it's chess. But whatever pieces either it's either whatever pieces you uh, somebody knocks out of your no it's whatever pieces you knock out of somebody of somebody else's stuff can be put on your side. You can use later on if you can put it down if you put the piece down in a safe spot. But it's still kind of the same rules where you're trying to get checkmate. There, Richie. Uh, last card. Uno. Blackjack. Hit me. Texas Hold'em. No five card stud, but still Texas Hold'em. President I've played. 
president I've seen someone play and I think I understand. So this one's oddly fun, but it's probably not one of the better card games in the set. Sevens. I want to say it's like, it, well, it's not crazy. It's never mind. I've never seen this, so I don't know what it is. Speed. I think I'm pretty sure everybody's played speed. Matching. I don't know what this is. War. War is luck, more or less. Takoyaki, I've never played, although I'm pretty sure I have. Ah, boo. Uh, Pig's Tale, never played. And then we get into some of the toy line, where some of the toy stuff, where it's kind of... Well, some of the stuff is... Hi, Shade. Where some of the stuff is just kind of like, you know... It's like using like little plastic figurines. So golf, billiards, bowling, darts. Never played Karam, so I don't know what the heck this is. Toy tennis. I uh, actually know. Starting with this, it gets into like more of the toys idea. No, not a lot. I uh, I lost handily in uh, dots and boxes, and then I dominated in yacht dice. Toy soccer. It's, I don't think it's quite, yeah, I don't think it's quite foosball. I think it's more equivalent to like those toy hockey sets you see. Uh, those toy like hockey sets where there's like the paddles and you push them up and down and then twist it to make them flick their stick. Curling. Basically, whoever, it's 10 curling stones. Whoever gets close to the center wins, period. Like one stone is all it is. Let's probably go fish. Uh, we'll see you in a minute. Toy boxing, I'm pretty sure it's Rock'em Sock'em robots. Toy baseball, not much lost here. Air hockey. Slot cars, which this is one of the ones that basically you can have multiple switches uh, set up for where... My switch is hot for some reason. You can have uh, multiple switches set up to make it to make a slot car track. Oh no, it's just regular fishing, huh? Battle tanks, team tanks. These two... I'm pretty sure it's like what was on uh, Wii Play. So a shooting gallery. Six ball puzzle, no idea. Sliding puzzle, n no idea. I've oddly enough have played so uh, Mahjong Solitaire. And then the two Solitaires and then we got a piano. So I will tell you. The only thing that is, the only unlockable thing in this entire game, the only unlockable thing is a theme, a card deck theme that is Nintendo. I don't know. So let's see. So let's actually play some games that I have no idea what are going to be. Between an ace and a ten, you flip over the card in that position. Oh. Ten is luck, like a takoyaki pan. If the card you flip is a position you haven't flipped yet, then you're in luck. You get a flip again. Oh. Anytime you flip a face card, your turn ends. So I have to be the first to cook all ten takoyaki. You got it. And speaking of which, here's your food. That'll be 10 million bucks. For self serve? Okay. Takoyaki. Yeah, a lot of the games are more straightforward than you would think, oddly enough. So, slot four, which gives me slot six. Seems kind of luck-based, really. Okay, I'm done. 
I already have slot six flipped. Slot nine. Yep. Slot two. Slot five. And I already have three flipped. Yep. Uh, ooh, I have a slot eight. Ooh, slot one. I went up. Thanks, game. Okay. All right, I need seven and ten. Okay, seven. All right, now I, I actually okay. Now I I need to draw a ten out of the deck unless they've got it on their side. So now I just sit here and press A until it's my turn to play. Wait, Jokers are wild. That's bonkus. I win. Takoyaki. Time to eat. Oh, it's really so they are literally. It's literally like little bits of octopus shoved in bread and deep fried. Okay. I have mastered takoyaki. Okay, simple enough. Never had takoyaki. I would like to. Alright, so let's play this game. Like I said, I understand how this one works. It's a mind game. Bow before my authority. There's the chance I was waiting for. The revolution is here. Whoa. Hail to the chief! <laughs> oh no. That's right, you lowlifes. Taxes are due. Power corrupts. Okay, so that's pre that's present. So How how it works? Oh, by the way, Shade, check your uh, check check your emotes. You have a new one. How how it works is basically four is the lowest value card, and then it goes up through there, through Ace, loops back around to two and three. Alright. So yeah, card values start Oh, it started at three, my bad. I thought it started at two I thought it started at four. So Joker is a wild. If you can't the whole point of this more or less is just like trying to empty out your hand.
Okay, so eight clears. So three spades can beat a joker. Okay. Oh. Okay. So the whole thing is to empty out the hand. Well, see, I could play a bunch of eights and try and clear out. Oh, wait, I'm selecting what cards to give away. I'd rather not start with this. Oh, I have to start with it. Never mind. I guess it's only when you start the round can you do that. Okay, got it. Eight clear. Pass. Pass. Three of spades reversal. Okay, so that's like the, I think, oh, that, that is still the highest value card. Why'd you throw a two? Because no one could beat it. Interesting. That was probably the worst move I, I realized now. Whatever. Clear it again. <laughs> you know what? Throw this. And that means I get third. Oh, because I can't play a double of higher value, I don't get to play. Wow, wow. I think I just get absolutely styled on. Okay, I'm following a bit more. Dang it. Nah, not this point. Because there's two jokers. Uh, no, I, I do not play Animal Crossing. I am like one of the rare people in the world who do not play Animal Crossing. Wait, what? God damn it. Pass. 
I thought there was two jokers in this. Okay, I clearly don't understand the game. Eight clear. Why would you do this? My empire, my business franchise. Okay, so... Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'm, I'm like reading chat. Okay, so. Interesting. I see your double and I raise you. But can anybody triple me? Damn, I've been tripled. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> uh, more or less, I realize for some people, some people play Animal Crossing because they've been playing Animal Crossing for long. I don't play Animal Crossing. Oh, I can't select two this time? Okay. Interesting. Sure, why not? Um, I don't play Animal Crossing because I just don't understand the appeal. That's just me, though. I'll just play the five to get it out. While I get the jack out, see if I can run run my luck better. Hey, look at that, a two. There's probably not a lot of doubles left. Damn it. Okay, I'm following. Still not a huge fan, but I'm following. Uh, but yeah, Nara did make the emote. Listen, only doubles can play. Only doubles can play. Oh, I had, okay, I had aces, okay. Only doubles can play. Okay. So, this is kind of a, it is luck, okay, gotcha. Hey, that's my move. That's my move! Pass. Eight clear. Wow. Pass. Pass. I mean, I'm basically going to be... Eight clear. Okay, eight clear. 
Throw the 10 in hopes that nobody... Damn it, they beat it. Okay, it's official on Bathus. It's official. I am bad at president. I understand it better, but I'm bad at it. All right. Eight o'clock. Connect four. Let let's be let's do be getting brain damage. Fish. Okay, fish next time. Have you come to try and get four in a row before me? Token drop block. Falling circle counter. Crouching disc. Really? Seeds of future victory. Hidden path strike. You lose. I'm so close. You fought honorably. We will duel again in winter. But yeah, it's, this is just like a quick way to kind of, it's a quick way to let people know how to play the game who have never played these games, which is good because there's a lot of games people have probably not played. I choose here. Haha, -ha, my strategy will pay off soon. What strategy? I don't know, I, th I, I was hoping you would tell me what, what, what one you had. Watch me lose the AI. Are you watching? It's gonna happen. What is with this SpongeBob sounding ass track going on right now? I mean, if you're just gonna give me the win. Okay, so Shade said fish. Let's fish. That's the boat. Aww. So it's just... Pro controller not supported, so I have to undo and get this. Alright, hold on. I have to go to the home screen and do repairing. Hold on. Uh, 
Okay, let's cast line to the water. Oh. What the hell? Okay. 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 In mosaic mode. Okay. Makes sense. So let's throw him... Let's just do that. Okay. That's... It's relaxing more than anything. Mosaic mode, I believe, just means that you can kind of watch it. Kind of just watch it or play it more chill, kind of like an endless mode, I assume. Eh. No, little guy, no. Come here. Got it. Ooh. Koi. How quaint. I see some little guys here, so let's just... Oh, I scared him out. Oh, okay. And for two. Got another koi. Eh, yeah, scared it away. Yeah, I gotta scare that one away too. I imagine how it would work is it's just a bigger, uh, you can make it a big, bigger fishing area. Oops. Oh well. Like you know, I'm gonna use bad things for example, but like you know, you have one, you have one switch here, then you have the next switch here, so it basically just extends the river out. That's how I feel like a mosaic mode would work with this. I forgot to put that in the shelf. I have mastered fishing. Ah. Let's 
So I've switched over just to single Joy-Con for now, so. I would hope I'm a fishing master. Uh, it has a physical version. That's, uh, that's the case I just put away for it, so. I'm one of those weird people where I prefer to have physical versions of as many games as I can get. All right, let's let's learn about Hanafuda, shall we? Hanafuda. Can't go wrong with the traditional Japanese card game. I like the card design. You got every month here. I'm a January man. Pines and cranes are very in now. Ew. Give me February's plum blossoms and nightingales any day. Whatever month you like, each one has four cards. Some cards are definitely better than others. Not naming names here, you know who you are. We're looking to match cards from the same month. Oh. Certain cards make special sets for more points. Hey, want to see something cool? Sure. Check out the December Polonia card. Wait, does that say Nintendo? They've been making games for longer than you might have known. So Hanafuda is like rummy? I want that one. I'm following, okay, so getting this, the poetry slips is kind of what I'm at, I think what I'm after here. Oh. Cherry Blossom Viewing. Finish. What happened? Okay, I definitely tried to go for something that I didn't have. Got it. That was harder to get. Okay. Okay, I'm following. Kind of following, anyway. And chaff, is, I guess. So chaff is just left over. So I'm trying to get. Well, at this point, the only thing I can really match is this stuff. Uh... 
I feel like... Cherry Blossom Viewing. I got Cherry Blossom Viewing, apparently. Go me! I don't get it. <laughs> I'm glad there's an assist on it because I don't understand what's going on. Give me this. Let's go for this. I really don't want the poetry slip, so... Let's go for the bird, and hopefully that go, goes in the seeds. No. How do I always get poetry slips? Well, might as well just keep going. Bang for a buck. Oh, I got, I got another part of seeds. I get it. So animals that eat seeds. Four lights with rain. I'm gonna finish because that's round that's round three because I just need enough to win this. I don't know who is weird. Nintendo themed Hanafuda cards. I think I just unlocked the only th unlockable thing in this game. Oops. Uh. So, kind of learn how to play Hanafuda. Well, let's just do this so Celia can stop pestering people to play Mahjong with him. The pieces go clack when you put them down. That's the least useful thing you've ever said. Sorry. I'm guessing you play using these tiles with the characters and pictures on them. We're using the global version of the tiles, right? That should help. Oh, sure enough. It says here we have to make something from the 14 tiles that we get. Make what? Are we trying to get four of a kind? A straight? Uh, seems like lots of things will work. The list here has over 35 hands you can make. How is anyone supposed to remember all that? I've been leaning pretty heavily on the recommended hands in the assist mode. Oh, what kind of stuff is in there? It has a list of hands you can refer to. Also some tips to help you make them. Ooh, let me in on that action. Wanna give it a try and see how we do? I'm game if you are. Great. It seems pretty deep, so let's stick a toe in and see how it feels. Okay. So, it's Rummy. As far as I can tell, it's rum. As long as far as what people said, it's like rummy. Three suits of number tiles that go from one through nine, east, west, north, and south. Three, 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 two, four sets in a pair. Set as a group of three tiles in the same suit that are already sequential order. Okay.
Sorry, I'm just reading all this to figure out how the hell this works. Red number tile, your winning hand accounts to the Doro tile. Okay. Valid hand that can be made collecting three or four of the same dragon tile. Simples, one Han. So small, so straights. All right, all simples, all runs. Tile of tiles drawn by the player without using any tiles discarded by their opponents. Wow. No, there's a lot of hands to remember. triplets I feel like the game has to give some kind of I, f I like they have a learning option but I feel like they'll give have an assist to help so So the power hand or whatever that's called currently is the four, four bamboo sticks. When discarding tiles, get rid of the ones not adjacent. So let's get rid of one of the dragons here. Okay, it's a bit like it's a bit like gin rummy. Okay. So let's drop East Wind for that. And of course this is teach this is gonna let me draw like the perfect card during the north, so I have three north tiles. Uh oh the one of sticks, okay. So I don't need any more sticks, so let's drop that. I'm going to discard what I just drew. Me. 
Luigi. So two left hours, but uh, a couple left hours. Oh, okay. Okay, so, okay, I see what happened there. So, when you... When you declare Ricci... Okay, I think I figured out. When you declare Ricci, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a bet call. The... Doing Ricci is basically saying, okay, I can win off of drawing tiles alone. I don't need to take up anybody's discarded tiles at this point. So I'm going to say, off of what I can draw, I can finish the game. And that tells other players, you don't have long to finish. If I draw what I need to win, it's over. Excuse me. Mm. Opponents discard. It is like Rummy. Okay, this is making much, way more sense in my head now. Now I know it's like Rummy a bit. Clear to left discard a tile that you can use to clear to run. So call Chi. So I don't need this. Oh, I see. So if you... Okay, so I see. So if you take somebody else's tile that can help you make a run... This is just like how Rummy works too. You don't want to discard the cards that you think somebody else might need to complete a, complete something. So if you so if you happen to... So if somebody discards something that you need to finish something, you A, call Chi, or I guess in this place, Pawn. Play across from you to discard anything. So, Chi or Pawn, and whatever tile is the one that was discarded to make a set, then you play, then because people know you can make it, you would then have to show that you can make it along with their tile. So then... You can create a hand call, all simple to finish. Wrong. Oh, because I had because I had three, four, and five of characters. I had a I had a small straight of characters, so I called Ron at that point because the other two tiles don't matter and. The Ron gave me the three of a kind simple to. Okay, okay, I'm following. I'm, I'm picking up on it. Will I remember the terminology? No, <laughs> I will not. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But unlike Rummy, it seems... Because Rummy's only play... I think Rummy's usually just played two-player for the most part. Whereas this with four-player, all tiles are out. So you have to be careful what tiles you discard at any point. So we're going to make a seven pair? Okay. 
Chitoitsu. Yes, I do. So, you haven't made... Okay, I drew it. So, I'm going to discard the north. Alright. Call Ricci and drop, I guess, just the nine at this point. Ricci. Uh, okay, so uh, that's the thing I was worried about. Okay, so I don't, uh, so I was wrong earlier. So yeah, I didn't understand, I didn't understand it. So you can call Ricci when you're basically on, on the doorstep of winning. But you can still take cards from other people. For, you can still take uh, tiles from other people, so... So, Ron. There you go. Doubles. I feel like I feel like I just need like a cheat sheet up at all times of valid hands if while I'm playing this. I would be that guy. Like, you know, how long have you been playing Mahjong? Three years. What's that paper? I need this cheat sheet, don't mind me. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So let's see if I understand this game at all. <sighs> Excuse me, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> So show hands. Oh, the types of, okay, that's what was confusing me. Okay. So you do want to play mostly to like small, like some. So you mainly want to play to small three runs. You want to play like small sets of three or small three runs constantly. It seems because if you try and play, excuse me, and then you just kind of happen to get the other parts as you go along. So don't worry so much about like the auspicious winds of dragons tiles. Those are just special rules for those specific tiles. You mainly are just trying to go for runs or pair or uh triplets or quads, I guess in this case. This is a blank tile to play with, so. Okay. So these are like super easy to pull out. You know, these are like super uh, simple, like actual things. Okay. So this stuff can just happen to happen. Got it. So we'll drop the east. Uh, 
let's drop that. I was about to curse them out. No lie, I was really about, just about to curse them out. They've got the three, they got, they got three of the West Wind there. It's just like, you fool. Actually, I feel like I can do something here. Hold on. Drop that. Now I need to actually look at the board too. I'm smart. Because the game won't help me with, oh. No, if I, okay, there's nothing I can use. Okay. Yeah, 13 orphans was unique, but it's more or less just like ones and nines is what it was. Okay. So I have seven characters. Uh toss it. Oh my god. The, there's so much west wind out there. I realized I just discarded to run. No, I didn't. Never mind. I'm thinking wrong. Damn it. Well, there goes that possibility. Okay, so Richie, discard this. Yeah. So I just need a six of characters. Well, they've got a six of characters, but I guess I can't grab that because it wasn't their most recent discard. Hi, Farf. Ah, there it is, Ron. Thankfully, the game stops and calls it out. So there we go. Okay, I'm following. See, here's the thing. Okay. So here is the thing I need to tell you guys. So he's been on the stream before, uh, Ceiling. Ceiling has been trying to get almost everybody to play Mahjong with him. If he at one point had said, it is like playing Rummy, I would have been more excited to play. Never once did he say, it's like Rummy. That's why so many of us fought him on it, because he never once said, it, it's like Gin Rummy. That is so much easier to understand. God damn. <laughs> I'm going to I got to say this right now. I'm going to say this right now. That's literally it. It plays like gin rummy. God damn it. I'm I'm mad for him and I'm mad at myself. Ugh. I understand why he likes Mahjong now. Okay. Mystery solved, Scooby-Doo. This is going to take me a minute to get over it, because it's just like... Uh, my Brian hurts. I understand now. The calls are probably the most confusing part about this game now to me.
Okay. So I don't need the, I don't need the, I think the green dragon, east dragon, whatever it wants to be. I don't need that. Uh, I don't need eight characters. Or, no, it's not characters, it's something else. <sighs> Just, like, come on, man. If, <sighs> I'm really mad. Again, if at any one point he had said, Rummy, I would have been in. Okay. I'm understanding that now. So, Pawn is the person directly to, basically the next person in line discards what you, or the person directly behind you call, uh, drops what you need. You call Pawn. If it's anybody else, you call Ron. Got it. But it can only be if it completes something. It can't be just willy-nilly. Uh, seven. Now we'll drop that. I'm kind of wait. I'm kind of waiting for a blank card, or a wind card to kind of decide this over here. No, not pawn run. Pawn and con. Chi. Oh, chi. There's another call for chi for the person that goes after you. Did anybody else hear that? Oh, for okay. Uh well, I just got rid of this, I would have had a three. Uh, three of care. Okay. Chi. So, Chi. Um, let's get rid of a wind for now. Can't make anything off of that. Somebody drop me some sticks. Come on, man. Uh, I want to keep that five because that's a very special five. No. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the wind. So I need... I feel like I'm asking a lot, but I need a seven or a two. I need a seven or a two of sticks. I think, if I'm reading this right, at all. So is it Ron here or Pawn? Okay, I see it now. It's Ron because I because I he discarded so I got the so I got my winning tile. I gotta remember it's fourteen, you have thirteen until you get your tile you need. Okay. And Already starting off strong. Let's drop this three of sticks. Gee. 
don't I just need like a two to win? Or, well, not a two with sticks. I think it's either. A two of characters, eight of sticks. Or I guess five of sticks, too. I'm gonna drop this and I'm probably gonna make a mistake here, but I'm going. Gee. Let's go with this one, leave it a little open. Dang it. Don't ask what my brain was thinking there. Again, don't ask what my brain is thinking here. So I'm guessing I actually need that eight again. And one of those nines. Well, shoot. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I need a pair. I need a pair, okay. So it has to be a pair, okay, okay. Well, that's my mistake here. Uh, In my head, I always think straight. I'm always thinking straight, so that's why. That's not going to help. Okay. Makes sense. Kind of. That makes sense. Kind of just, uh, oh. Okay, keep my wins. Might not be a bad idea to dump my wins here soon. Considering three, like, three souths are, or two souths are in the field, let's just get, let's just out the south. I'm feeling this. Three. 
Okay. Wow. Positively styled on. Let me drop the one action. Well, there's no point in keeping this, so let's just drop that. That fast, huh? Well then, I'm uh... Key. I'm gonna get decimated. Watch. Pong. Okay, so drop the nine of ca characters. Pong. I feel like I can get somebody to discard a south here quicker than anything else, so let's go with that. Oh, but you can't do that on the on the your double. Okay. See, I'm bad at card counting. <laughs> I mean, I, can, I sit, consider everything that's discard as a card counting in a sense. So that's why I'm like, that's why I'm bad at these games. Because I don't like look at discards and go, okay, what's left in the, what's in the pile? Yeah, yeah, so on and so forth. South, south. There's only one other south left. I don't know if somebody else is holding on to it. East. So they want the east either as well. Ugh. Okay, give me the one character. Give me, give me characters one. Sure, why not? Damn it. that I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea how to parse that information at all. I should have just dropped the south in retrospect.
That sticks, okay. Let's just drop that. Uh, already three out there. I don't see a four out there, so I'm going to increase my chances. So I guess some of the some of the strategy in this comes from not doing pawn and chi and all that stuff constantly, and actually like holding on to what's in your hand. Whoops. I should look around and see where is is there any other four? Nah, someone's holding on to that four. Frankly, at this point, I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants, so. I want one ten pie. <laughs> I won Mahjong against Novice AI. Try also learning Jin Rummy. Oh, you mean like... Yes, it is, Vivid. Try learning Ma Rummy. Oh, you mean like the one that was on the DS game that you took out of this game for some reason? Okay, so I've learned Richie Mahjong. Like I said before, if they had kept, if they kept Rummy in this, like, well, let's be real here. The cards are already in this, are already here. They're ready. There's so many of them ready. Why do we need a piano? Ditch the piano, put in Rummy. I mean, I've already put it in our chat room, our private Discord server, rather, that the whole thing I said of, Ceiling, if you had any point said it played like Gin Rummy, I would have been more excited to learn it. Okay, let's go to a game that I know how to play. is to go around the board to the other side. So, I'm trying to get here. And my goal's over there. Got it. Let's get started. I'm thinking I'll move this piece three spaces. That's a bad idea. And this one can That's a double bad idea, miss. A three, huh? I think I'll just move this piece a little. Ugh, you're sending me back again? <sighs> this is getting old. Not old. Classic. <laughs> So, back game for those of you that have not played, 
The best way I can describe it, it the best way I can describe backgammon to you guys as I disappear into my own as I disappear into my own green screen because of how my setup is. Is it's like is it's like sorry, but you don't you don't draw a card to move, you roll dice to move. That's probably the best example I can give of how to play backgammon. Two player sorry. Okay, so I go, so I'm white, I go second. So it depends upon how you want to play. Like right now, right now with my setup, I could send them back to start. And that would, how that would force, the, how, what that would force them to do is they would have to roll onto a safe space on my side of the board. Let's see, where can I land? Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, I could have used my two to force them to go into the middle, and then they would have had to roll a one through five to get this piece back out. Ludo's more like trouble, okay. Noted. But yeah, they could use a one, th one through five to get back out, so it's not really worth sending them back at this point unless I get ahead. Now with this, I think I have a six, which, oh, that's a that's not a safe space. Oh no, these are safe, are they? Well, let's do it with this one, just because if I get sent back, oh well, I get sent back. So I can't, oh right, if you get doubles, you basically get quad move. Oh, but you have to be able to land, got it. So that little piece is stuck there, so I've kind of goofed. And actually at this point, my pieces are safe, so I can go ahead and just drop him over here. As long as I don't decide to backgammon him. This is a very risky play here, by the way. He's gonna... Oh, no, he didn't. Except now I can't move that one forward, can I? I can, but I gotta hope that they don't... That I gotta hope that they don't roll a four or... Oh, yeah. I gotta hope they don't roll a four on this next roll. And they did not. I'm just getting this one safe. Yeah. Um, so how doubles works is if you manage to roll doubles, you basically it basically you get you get quad move. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of there. So how it works now is they have to be able to roll on a safe space over here, and they did. And I just got bumped back in. Yep. Oh, uh, that's what I get. So snake eyes, I get to move four total. Now it's gonna suck if I get if he gets a three. Of course he did, so I get Oh, wait, he didn't go for the bump? You fool. You absolute buffoon. Well then let me just clear house.
course, he gets the double. The double. Of course, he gets a double five, so he gets to move 20 spaces total. Damn it. Now, I'm in, I'm in no dangerous I'm not in position of getting bumped out at this point. At this point, we're playing civil. At this point, it's just who can roll higher to get to the end board at this point. Would you have to start having all your pieces in this last quadrant in order to hit that point? And considering he's gotten that five before, he's well he's well ahead of the curve on on that one on me. So now next turn they can start scoring. Which, when you start scoring, you want to start from the furthest back column and move forward as much as possible. Now, some people play different where they just hope for sick high rolls and get closer that way. I'm going to put one in. And move this one closer so I can get, score on a two. Oh my god. That is... It's if there's something on six, it basically goes like le uh, less than. So I, I, I pretty much have just lost at this point. There's actually... I don't think there's any way for me to catch up. Yeah, so at this point they have to start rolling three or less to they have to start, roll three they can, if they roll anything great uh greater than the three, it counts as three. So that six is a score and that Okay. Weird. Yeah. I mean, it's dice, so it's going to happen. So two or, anything two or greater, it's a score. Meanwhile, me over here in BFE is just like, please, sir, may I play the game? Yeah, they basically just won. They won on that one. There's They, they, they cannot lose at this point. Had to roll the double to... Man, this game hates me. Why is it when I like back it? Why is it I like back gaming, but it doesn't like me back? Gammon. All right, let's le let's learn a new game. I have no idea how to play. Nine Man's Morse. Long, long ago, in a land far away, the Roman Empire existed. Roman rulers gathered in the Senate to debate. There, they would send their proxies out to speak. Three proxies could line up in a row. They would all shout in unison. Mill! And everyone agreed that the argument was very convincing. Okay. orators fled the Senate in disgrace. Eventually, one senator would concede 
having too few proxies left to make a case. But who was Morris, you ask? Ah, a tale for another time. Okay. So basically, you try your best to make a mill to remove anybody else's pieces. Move one space at a time to try and make a mill. To try to make that same mill. Okay, so corner them. So I do know that. Never, basically, never let this happen. Never let this setup happen to you, is what I've learned from what little time I have experienced this game. Never let this happen. If this happens, basically every single turn, that person can remove one of your pieces. Every turn. So, I'm going to start setting up a triangle if I can. And basically not let them do it, so... They blocked my mill. I don't believe it. Well, I'll block their mill, I think. Mill. Oh, they have one set up. Oops. Well, I can't move anything else there, so I'm going to do it again. I'm making it really obvious, but I'm doing that. Okay. Oh, I didn't plug up the hole. Whoops. Well, I lost in the first round, because they just... Mill. Yep, I'm milled. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, Nera. I literally couldn't move. Ah, bad at this game! Okay, let me try again. So, I'm going to... Start with a similar setup, but I'm not going to go for the temptatious triangle of power right out the gate. Mill. I didn't see that far mill, damn it. I think I may have stuffed them a bit. Oh no, they, they milled as well. Damn it. No more of that. Nope, I just saw it last second. Hold on. Mill. I 
the yeah the same move by the way. Damn it. I'm not seeing moves before they're already happening. Mill. 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 Well, I've lost this one. Wow. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. It's quick. But man, am I bad at it. <laughs> it has this. Has, this is a solved game, huh? It. But it always ends in a tie. Okay. So that's nine men's Morris. I'm bad at it. All right, let's try out something more fun. Bowling. Bowling. Listen. Who's up for no. You don't get to talk. Only I get to play. You don't get to talk. I only get to play bowling. Or motion controls. Be sure you attach your strap if you're dumb. I'm going to throw the ball. Throw it constantly. Okay. So this is the game you get to stare at my, you get to stare at my torso this whole time because I'm gonna stand up for this one. Come here, microphone. We're having an intimate moment. All right. So normally when I play these, I have to. Oh, that. I have to do, normally when I bowl, I have to do something like this because I have a natural curve to my throw. So, is it either? Okay. Like I said, I have a natural curve to my throw. Hoo yeah! Don't shake too hard, it says. Screw you, Dad. I'm going to shake as hard as I want. So, hey. We don't need Wii Sports anymore. You know... As a corner... Oh, no. That's the microphone. I thought a corner of my screen, green screen wasn't working. Go away, chair. Okay, I guess I just need to turn it a little bit. I don't even need to move. Well, I do need to move slightly. Like, that much. And then turn this slightly, and then... Okay. Sure, why the heck not? <laughs> All right, watch this. This is gonna make everybody upset for for a for ages to come. You ready for this one? You're not ready for this one. And I'm throwing. Upset. <laughs> Welcome to bowling, where everybody's upset by what happens. This feels like a okay. This does feel more like my normal bowling, where like I have a couple frames that are immaculate, and then every other time. Every other time, it just does stuff like that. Okay, no. It's not... This is not very accurate at all. Except for that part. That part's accurate. Hi, Gaia. This sucks. <laughs> I want my Wii Sports bowling back. I could actually throw, I could actually move my arm without fear of breaking the Joy-Con or the game's AI by doing it.
I'm being har this game is harassing me. Fine. Um, <laughs> Do I, do I really have to like put English on it? Like, <laughs> okay. Why do why does turning like a dumb make me do it right? Gaia, oh no, you saw you saw me post about <sighs> Jin Rummy is a game that that is like the building blocks of Mahjong. Oddly enough. Also, Gaia, this is your fault. This thing I'm doing here. <laughs> Okay, so it does work, but you have to follow through all the way through. You can't just, like, stop halfway. You actually have to give it full beans. Full beans! Hello. So if I do this, and... <laughs> There, I have beans it. Let's fucking go! Go where? Uh, we sports bowling. This is not. Am I doing a spin for theatrics? Yes. I really could just do this, but because I'm on a, but because I'm on a chair, uh, you know, a ch uh, mat for your rolling desk chair, and I'm wearing socks, I can spin, I can spin. I can spin is what I'm trying to get at here. That looks like my bowling game. All right. You now see how Scooter bowls badly. Huh. The shirt, the shirt is shorter than I thought it was. Bad I'm not wearing my pants at the right level. Good on you, Nicholas. You can stay on the globe for all I care. Okay. Let's put everything back then. No, I actually do bowl 82. Because I get my rhythm for like two frames and then I forget it for the next 28. You think I'm joking. I'm not. Uh, excuse me. Alright. Turtle. I was just about to ask. I was just about to ask, what should I play next? We gotta slide the panels to make a path for the turtle. I bet he appreciates it. I'll be your navigator. Oh, pick up more jewels. No sweat. Just one panel or a whole bunch of one. Okie dokie. No turtle problem so far. Uh oh. No, turn back. Oh no. Oh no, Mr. Turtle. Why did I decide to do this? It seems like a bad idea, actually. 
This is also a bad idea. Hold on. What is with this SpongeBob sound sounding ass tr soundtrack? This is a bad idea, by the way. Not thinking this through, my specialty. Am I doing the same thing several times over? Probably. Ah, uh, panicking. Hold on, watch. You ready for the panic? Panic, panic. The panic is attacking me. Damn it, I can't move this one quite yet. Just keep him in the loop, it's fine. Just keep him in the loop. I, uh... I feel like I'm right back to where I started, though. No, that's a bad move. Uh... <laughs> High quality gameplay right here. As I proceed to put all of these pieces on the same line, holy cow. Actually, I do it this way. And I am actually literally right back to where I started. Hold on. Oops. Whoops. Uh. Oops. <laughs> See, if it was just a sliding puzzle, there wouldn't be that much of an issue. But they put it on a timer. Okay. Oh, let's see here. Piano? Okay, you don't want this. Yep. Come on, you 
always have something to say. Well, there are keys and little keys. Oh, forget it. You can put multiple switches together to play the piano. Oh, okay. So I think this is something that's touch mode only, but... So in order to play this somewhat sensibly... I wish I knew how to, I wish I knew the notes. <laughs> if it's not obvious, I'm trying to play, I'm trying to play the song. Oh, oh. Hold upside down, it becomes this mess. Can you even see that? I don't ha I need to minimize Discord so I can actually do the thing. So if it's upside down, it does this. Oh, it's different key ranges. So you push the light, so you push the lights for an octave change, okay. Okay. I I hate that I'm gonna do this by the way. But Oh my god. I figured it out by accident. <laughs> Guys, I could make a Lovania. <laughs> oh, I'm a problem. Okay. Let me get you back. Let me get you back what you all want to see is, which is probably that.
That's literally all it was. Is it's just a piano that you can only play in touch mode. There's a couple of these games that you can that there's a couple of these games that that say only in touch mode. Like they say air hockey, but you play air hockey out of touch mode. Um I like how I putzed around and tried to play Megalovania, figured out how to do it for the most part, and like a bunch of people left. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, it's almost 10 o'clock. I don't want to go too much later tonight, so we'll do one or two more games. Is there <clears throat> any game on here you want to see? Otherwise, I feel like a lot of people don't know how to play Texas Hold'em, so I'm going to teach people to play how to play Texas Hold'em. Okay, well, if you're deferring shade, I'm just going to play Texas Hold'em. And I'm going to play on Pro Controller so I don't have to mess around. Half about the cards you have and half about what's on the table. So, everyone knows something, but no one knows everything. Exactly. Trying to read the other players is what makes it such an exciting game. Well, now I've got to try it. Pairs better than nothing, I guess. Nothing is exactly what I've got. A uh, likely story. <laughs> Just practicing my bluffing skills. Where are all the good cards hiding? Good question. Well, there they are. Three of a kind. Things are looking up. Cards are the same. Show your hand. Is this good? Yeah, you just got the best hand in the game. You have a royal flush. It's the best hand in the game. Then why is it called a flush? <sighs> because now my victory's in the toilet. So. They kind of explain, but basically, you're trying to make, it's, it's like, uh, I guess it's Rummy again. It's trying to make the best out of the two cards in your hand, plus any three other cards on the field. Well, that's what they had, that's what they had effectively was a royal straight flush. Most of the time, a royal flush and a straight flush, they're, they're the same thing. Cause it's impossible to have a royal straight flush without all five face cards. Well, for all four face cards, three face cards, whatever. So anyway, Text Hold'em for people who have never played is Text Hold'em for everybody who's never played is whoever's to the whoever's to the uh, right of the or I can't think. It's all about calling and trying to anticipate what your opponents have, and you can play mind games to try and get inside their head. So I've got nothing, but it's the start, so it's. Oh. Call, it's bad to not just get in there and see what happens. I like how the other person didn't even play. It's much better in person because you can kind of go psychological with people. So this is a low pair. It's a low pair, but it's a pair. So I'm not going to go too deep. So check. I'm going to check it. Nobody's going in. If I get a, if I get a king at any point, I'll go deeper. Check. But if anybody, if anybody starts calling anything better, I'm probably out. I'll keep checking on a pair of sixes. They had a pair of sevens. Okay. They got me on the they got me on the river. So 
So anyway, as I was saying, the, you're trying to basically make the best out of five cards. Two cards that you have in your hand, use it, using primarily the two cards in your hand and the five cards out there. But if one card in your hand makes something out of the four cards on the field, that works as the hand of five. Uh, ace, I, whatever. Call. Always go in, unless you have something in, unless you have something in Call. hand, unless you have like something in hand before the pot, the initial pot's even gathered, don't be scared to go in. Now at this point, I have nothing. So everybody's checking, I'll check. But if something flops, okay, everybody has a pair of jacks at this point. I have ace high jacks, meaning everybody, everybody's hand could be garbage like mine where they've got a low card, but and could have all low cards or they could have like king, queen, like king, like over the, that guy, king, queen, the guy above me, uh, nine, seven, and the lady to the right of me, you know, five, six. If we all stay in on this to the end, I would win with the ace as my highest offset card. That's basically a tiebreaker with everybody having jacks and the next the next closest person being a king high a pair of jacks with a king high. Check. And again, I'm gonna write it out because somebody might have the other jack here. Well, somebody might have the other jack here to get three of a kind. They have a straight, so that beats me out. Again, this is a game that's better in person because you can look at somebody for like if they're, if they get like a smirk on their face when they when they pick up their cards or if they like look around the table a lot, they're kind of like I don't know what's actually going to happen because my cards are dumb. So you kind of just pick up on oh. things of like facial tells of people. Now at this point. I could bet a little bit just to make people a little flustered here. See if they'll follow me down the rabbit hole. I guess it locks your. I guess it locks your bets. Yes. So text all of them is more or less just a mind game. So, all right, I think I've got something here. Okay, he followed me down the rabbit hole. Damn it, two pair. I was waiting for that. I was about to say, watch him have two pair. Ah, <laughs> oh, son of a gun. And this blind bets is basically just to say, because if there was no blind bets, then there would be no reason to like sit in on the. F There'd be no reason for that people to play at all. It basically is a reason to make people play money, so they don't just sit and wait the whole time. Check. I'll check along with everybody else. Nope, oh. I don't have anything on that. I got nothing. And see, it's good I pulled out. I'm down five chips, but I didn't lose. I'm going to lose overall because I tried to bluff my way to a victory against computers. Whoops. <sighs> oh my god. What is with these hands? Oh. I have two pair. Yeah. I mean, at this point, if I don't make something happen, I lose. I lose regardless. So. Can I increase my bet? No, yeah. I am locked to five chip bets. I call. Oh. And now I have a straight, which is better. Yes. 
Nobody raised me. Okay. This will. If I win this, this gives me the victory. Straight. I ass pulled that. I ass pulled that so hard. <laughs> I don't believe it. Scoober! <laughs> I ass pulled that so goddamn hard. Welcome to Texas Hold'em. Fuck you. <laughs> so how far do they go? Ten rounds? Oh, I want limitless. I want. Uh, I want. I would like to break people's bank accounts on this one. Okay, that's Texas Hold'em. Good lord. Yeah, I got super tired super fast. So I will say that this game is it does play online. Uh but yeah, this game does have online play. So like this, I can make a lobby, people can join, we can and we can play games. I'm not going to do this. Because I'm probably going to end things off here in a minute because I am getting tired and I'm already worn out. This is bad considering I've only been awake for like... God, how long? I've been awake for like eight hours, maybe even less today, and I'm tired again. This is bad. But just to show here, for anybody who's curious, um, you do need to get the the stupid Nintendo online subscription people who are against it but you do have to have the subscription in order to use the online with this but uh, actually a best way a better way to show this is two players with joy-con and I just have to I'm gonna grab one a random one hopefully it still works damn I need to charge these again Oh my god, all my Joy-Cons are dead. Oops. Knocked it out of its socket, my bad. It'll go back to normal in just a minute. Uh, do you still have charge? No, you don't. So. With two players... Uh, this almost everything works online too, but with two players, this is what you get online. You can't play dominoes, which is dumb. Can't play Hanafuda online. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But yeah, like Yeah, there's some uh, so there's some games you can't play because it's single player only, or you have to play it with other consoles in the same room. Or maybe some of the stuff does work on multiple consoles. Because I know present is online play. Hi, Zach. I think you can't play dominoes online. Because when it says local play, it means two switches in the same room. I mean, it's piano. And I wish I could show it, but... um, I will say, when you go to play online, Hex is off the table, Nine Men's Morris off the table, Hit and Blow... This whole top row is done. It's gone. This whole top row is gone, I think. Maybe except Yacht Dice. Uh, the second row, except for maybe Chinese Checkers, is gone. Maybe Ludo is there as well. Uh, both Shogis are gone. Hanafood is gone. Hold on, I need to... I need to look here. This would be better if I just do it this way. Uh, I think Riji Mahjong is available with four players on up to four players online. Three and four players are the same. You can play Last Card Online, Blackjack, Texas Hold'em, Presidents, Sevens, uh, Darts. You cannot basically everything after Darts you cannot play online. 
aren't any more than like, or sorry, correction. You can't play, you, I think you can't play darts online. I don't even know what Karam is. You, uh, two players you can do online, two players, two players, two players, two players, two players, two players, or I don't even think, you, no, you can't do this one online. And everything after this is uh, local only. I'd be shocked if Richie was not playable online without the four players. So yeah, like, I would say it looks, it's like, when it comes to playing with multiple people in the same room, with both the people in the same room for two players, it looks like about 50% of the catalog is available, unless they have another system, then it extends out to probably like 70% of the catalog. Uh, with four players online or not, Uh, shoot, gotta think. Playing online or not, the amount of three and four player games combined. It's basically... I think it's like Chinese Checkers and Ludo. And then it skips down here probably to Rishi Mahjong. And then it goes through all of this. Probably skips bowling, but it goes all the way through up to Toy Tennis. And then it goes back to two player only. And then, it's, yeah, after... After air hockey, uh, there's no online for any of this other stuff. So yeah. So yeah, that was 51 games. Um, if I get friends together, maybe we'll, if I get friends together who get this, maybe I'll we'll play together. Maybe I'll we'll play together with them for a night and we'll just hang out and play games. Uh, in terms of you platinuming Kiwami, Zach, uh, I just learned how to play Richie for the first time tonight. Like, I literally just learned how to play Richie. Ceiling's been trying to get everybody to play Rishi Mahjong for at least the last four years. And not once has this man said it plays like Gin Rummy. All he said is, it's going to take so long to teach you guys how to play. Like, I got the the calls of Pawn, Colin, Chi, uh, Tenpai, and stuff like that. Like, I'm still I'm still a little rusty on the terminology there, and what and when you call what. But when uh, but beyond that, I understand the game fluently at this point. Well, mostly fluently. Sarah was here earlier, and she was correcting me on my improper use of. How to play Mahjong. <laughs> anyway. But yeah. <sighs> so I would say, for the most part, yeah, it's 40 bucks. Yeah, it's 40 bucks and you have to spend the money on the game in the first place. Sorry, I'm doing two things at once. You know how, you know how I be. But again, you know, $40, most of the value is here in it. If you kind of like board games or if you want something on your Switch, just kind of bust out and play whatever, whenever. And not have to worry about getting super involved in a long RPG or something like that. I would say this game is kind of worth. It's even more worth if you can find people who will play with you, though, for, for the games that are available on multiplayer. But anyway. Um, anyway, I think, wow, I, that clap peaks my microphone. Anyway, I think it's actually going to be it for me tonight. Again, I'm a little drained, so I'm going to just kind of keep it low key tonight. I'm not going to go on for hours and hours. Uh, did anybody else have any questions they wanted to ask tonight? Also, reminder, reminder. I ha we have a new emote, so now you can be smug at people.
Um, I need to start writing down my ideas for other emotes when we get that point, but I lo I looked and confirmed. I would need to get to 15 sub points to get the next emote slot opened up. I am at four. So it'll probably be a while for get any more emotes. But I should probably make a text document of all the emotes I want to do in the future. Because I had them, and now I think I've lost one. I've forgotten one or two of them at this point. Anyway. Um, but yeah, Thursday stream. I'll probably leave it up in the air what we do. Uh, this week I kind of plan to try... Uh, less this week for myself, I ha I'm i planning to record, probably record a lot more Secret of Mana. And also finish up what I need to do with Shovel Knight. So I can record what I need to record with Shovel Knight. But I'll probably figure out one or two games I can put on a poll. And who knows, I'm kind of hitting this weird spell where I'm just kind of playing random games. It might, we might still play random games for a little while because the Pokemon DLC update, I think, drops either this Friday or next week on Monday. I don't remember exactly what day in June, but I think the, the, D, the first DLC pack does drop soon. Unless I have the wrong month altogether. But anyway, I'll probably put up a poll on Twitter on Thursday or something and say, Hey, what should we play? I might put Gensel Wanderer back on that list just so I can get, get to finish a game I started. But for the, for, for the meantime, for those that are looking to watch stuff for the rest of the night, how about we get you guys over to somebody else for the evening? And again, I'm going to let you guys choose where you go. And it looks like I'm not the only one playing this game this, today or tonight. So, I'll let you guys kind of decide what you, what you want to do. So... Let me see. So, choices that I will give you... Uh, we have a lot of choices because apparently everybody decided tonight was the night to stream. Uh, Proton John streaming What the Golf. He's game clearing. Lethero is having a GameCube night. He's basically playing a bunch of GameCube titles using Parsec with his friends. Uh, right now they're playing Mario Power Tennis, but I know earlier they... It was clearly mentioned Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, so we'll probably cycle through. Uh, Lethero is, according to his title, practicing some Breath of the Wild speedrun strats. So he's playing Breath of the Wild. Uh, both Alternate 24... And Slim Kirby are also playing Clubhouse games. Uh, I think Slim is playing by himself, much like I did tonight. But Ultranic is playing with friends. Uh, Madame Wario is hanging out with o with Odin's back, and they're playing. And one of them is playing Paper Mario. Uh, Kaioken, Kenny, he's playing Overwatch, and Metal Kick is playing Sakura Wars. So to th fly through that, risk that list as quick as possible. Proton John, what the golf? Lethero, uh, GameCube Knight. Uh, Scott Falco, Breath of the Wild speedrunning strats. Ultra Nick, Clubhouse Games. Some Kirby, Clubhouse Games. Madame Wario with Odin. Paper Mario, Kaioken, A uh, Overwatch, and Metal Kick, Sakura Wars. Is there any place you guys specifically would like to go this evening? Um, I will tell you guys that if I get my choice, I will probably raid Madame Wario tonight, actually. So if you want to see more Clubhouse games, you got to say otherwise. Otherwise, we're going to go jump over to Madame because I understand all people can only take so much when it comes to playing tabletop games. I'm one of them. Alright. I'm uh, not seeing any suggestions, so let's go raid Madame Wario. Uh, those of you that have it that are gonna j follow along the raid, you can make the re message. You can make your hello whatever it is. All I ask is if you have the emote, use use the emote. I have it there for a reason. Use it.
So anyway, I'll see you guys on Thursday for something. I'll compile a list when Thursday comes about. Thanks everybody for coming out for this clubhouse randomness. And you have a great night. Take care, folks. And as I said last time I streamed, with everything that's going on out there, please be safe.